Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Jake's Take with Jacob Elishar podcast. I'm your host, Jacob Elishar, the chief content producer and writer of jakestake.com, a pop culture entertainment news website. Now, if you're listening to this and before we get started with our conversation, please give us a five-star review and please subscribe. That would be perfect. I am thrilled to be welcoming this incredible guest today because I'm a super fan of America's Got Talent, and you might have seen him as Deadly Games on America's Got Talent Season 11 and America's Got Talent Season 1, and also Brain's Got Talent Champions, and he's part of, currently at the Luxor, at the America's Got Talent live show. But however, he just won America's Got Talent Extreme Season 1 as part of Alfredo Silva's k So please help me welcome Alfredo Silva to the podcast. Oh my God, what introduction. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Alfredo. It's an honor to have you, and thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to talk with me today. I really appreciate it. No, thanks for having me. Thanks for having this space. You know, I feel very uh, glad that people are interested to know a little bit more about what I do and about my circus background. That's very important to me. All right, so let's get started. So, like you just brought it up, so when did you get interested in performing, and how did that passion evolve a desire to pursue a career in the entertainment industry? Look, I was born and raised in the circus, like a traditional circus, a traveling tent that goes every week in a different place. So growing up with that environment, you know, I see my father, my grandfather performing those crazy acts together. And I developed the, the desire of being on the stage on a very early age. I knew I would be a performer. I just didn't know which kind of act I would choose to go for. And eventually, I fell in love with the danger, and, and everything took off from there. Awesome. So what have been some of the challenges that you faced breaking into the entertainment industry? And how did you overcome those obstacles? There's a lot of obstacles, especially on the art that I represent, which is the circus art. I feel we're not uh, as recognized as the other acts, you know, singing, dancing, acting, and um, stuff like that. So I think it's extra hard for us to find a way of living out of performing you know i have a lot of friends here and they are also performers but they have to have a second job to maintain them you know so for me i perform full time you know the harder the hardest part here is to get the word out for everyone to take your kids take your family take your date take your mother take anyone you love to go see a circus show because I think circus is the mother of all arts. Everything starts with the circus. So that's the, 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 the biggest uh, challenge we face with the performing arts when it comes to a variety show. Awesome. And I got to say, you have become the Got Talent royalty, my friend, because uh -huh. your Got Talent journey started because I think American audiences first recognized you when you auditioned as part of Deadly Games for season 11 of America's Got Talent. So yeah. why did you decide that season 11 was the perfect time to bring Deadly Games to the world stage? Look, um, auditioning for America's Got Talent, I think was the best thing I ever done with my, my life and my career. Uh, it really changed uh, my life upside down because I was already performing on a high level. You know, I performed with some uh, very good shows in Australia, Europe, China, Brazil. And then when the opportunity presents itself to show my art to the American audience, I was like, okay, there is a lot of possibilities of everything going good here, but it was a huge possibility of something going down. For example, if I had bad reviews or feedback from the judges, I know that that would damage my career, especially because I was already performing in big shows. So I just took the chance. I said, it's now or never. And I was really happy that not just the judges, but the whole of America, they appreciate what we did and they supported us. And we were so glad that you guys came back as part of the first season of America's Got Talent Champions, where you guys received Heidi Klum's Golden Buzzer. And, Heidi, and if I remember correctly, and I'm an AGT historian, Heidi Klum rarely presses for, a for an act that doesn't sing. Exactly. So what did that mean to get her golden buzzer? Wow. Look, it, it was, um, it's a very, was a very delicate point of my career because after doing everything I've done uh, performing, I was like, you know what? I don't think that's the thing for me. I was thinking 
about quitting to be honest i was really? like you know yeah i was like you know what i don't think this is is gonna go so far we don't have the recognition i knew that people loved to watch us but never really voted for us or never really recognized me in a different way so when heidi klum gave me the golden buzzer i was like oh my god because that's the goal that was the goal i had on the first audition you know because i brought an act that was very different we were very artistic we were very dangerous we were very everything but then we only made to the semifinals which was a good spot i guess but the golden buzzer puts you in a different level you know and because of the golden buzzer bigger doors open and more work came in and i start to travel more because of that and i start to make a living so she really said you know what don't stop doing what you're doing believe in yourself this is for you boom when she hit it that i couldn't believe i was over the moon it was um, all the emotions up and down in my brain all the hard work you know all the difficulties we go through and it was worth it and it is worth it you know you, you just can't give up because your time will come so she really revived deadly games i love that moment and we and we and i'm glad that you guys uh, too because the thing is you are currently performing at the luxor with deadly games and a variety of america's got talent alumni and fan favor so what does it mean to be performing in las vegas sin city itself under the america's got talent umbrella look uh just imagine thousands and thousands of acts pass through agt all kinds of acts and some of the best acts honestly pass through agt and we are one out of 12 acts here that they picked to be representing the las vegas live show here the luxor it makes me feel so special you know it makes me also have a lot of responsibilities on my back because people will pay tickets they will come to see the best of the best and we had to prepare a very special act for the Vegas show here. And that's what we did. If you haven't seen yet, you gotta come and check it out because it's crazy. I definitely need to come and see. I'm among the people that have to see it and and I cannot wait to see it, hopefully, at the Luxor stage, hopefully. Yeah, listen, so, the show here is for everyone. Huh? You're singing, comedians, acrobat, danger, uh, dancing. We have Cody Lee. Cody Lee is, uh, I think is my favorite ever agt contestant the guy his mother we became friends they are just lovely people and when he perform normally either i am on my dress room or i am training on the on the training room and it's such a special moment just to hear cody lee singing every day and i am part of the same show as him the life has been great i can't complain at all i'm so glad to hear that cody is definitely one of the all-time greatest golden buzzer moments for sure all right, so let's talk about, speaking of Golden Buzzer, you became one of the acts to receive a rarity, like I believe it's Angelica Hale, The Unbeatable, and you. All to receive are the three acts only in AGT history to receive a Golden Buzzer twice. So before we get to that Golden Buzzer moment, when did you decide it was time to go, when they announced America's Got Talent Extreme, why, when did you decide it was time to compete with the Cage Riders? so i really felt that i had more to present you know i had a lot of more in me to give to america audience and also for agt you know i developed a good relationship with agt you know i did season 11 then i come back for the champions and i also did the uh, slovakians got talent in slovakia which is uh, the same brand fremental and we got a golden buzzer there as well so i felt that my childhood passion which was the the cage the globe of that that I've been doing for three generations, I knew that that would be the, the perfect recipe to show you guys what extreme is all about. Because let's be honest, what I do is pretty extreme, but to perform in a show, going against extreme acts, I knew it had to be something really big, really danger, really extreme. And that's what we did. I think there's no way we could go any bigger in the extreme show, to be honest with you. I totally agree. You guys impressed me with that wheel of death and all those stunts. And then what was your reaction when Terry Crews pressed his golden buzzer for you and the cage riders? Wow. Look, I, I never go into any competition or any kind of uh, um, place where I have to show 
skills thinking I'm not going to win, right? I'm a very mm -hmm. confident man. I knew I had something good, but the golden buzz, I was like, whoa. Especially from Terry Crews, man. Terry Crews is such a humble man. He, he is an inspiration for, for me, and I know that for many other people. The guy is nothing but nice. I think he's the perfect fit for AGT. He's humble. He, his empathy towards the, the acts and the contestants are amazing. So getting a golden buzzer for him, one of the nicest guy I ever met, he topped it up my experience right here. You know, it, I couldn't ask for anything better. Terry Cruz is the man. I love that guy. Awesome. So the super fans voted and they put you, the K uh, you and your the cage writers and wheels together for the final duel. And so what were some of the challenges that you and the cage writers faced creating those routines from auditions in the final rounds? And by the way, my jaw dropped every time when that when you said the fourth person, a fourth writer, I was like, Yeah. You were my how did everyone on your team? Overcome Look, those obstacles. We we have a lot of challenges, right? Number one, COVID. Being COVID free during the shooting, because this was pre-recorded, it was we 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 were not going out to eat, we were not meeting people, we were locked in the room. We were trying to be as cautious as possible because you know, at the time we start shooting in Atlanta, in Georgia. So we had to fly there. And I was very scared flying because you know, surrounded by people inside the plane and get clean. And we were tested almost every day. It was very hard. That's number one challenge. And then number two is when you do something so dangerous, how can you top it up that being safe? Because listen, the risk was there. I mean, we had a big chance of something going wrong because even Travis Pastrana said that if one guy goes down, Everybody goes down, you know, there is not enough room in that cage. So we have these two big challenges. Number one, COVID. Number two, stepping up the game, being safe, because we don't want to pass the, the idea to the audience that we are crazy, you know, and we just want to go there and try to accomplish something. No, no, no. We, we want to make sure that we are entertainers. We do what we do 10, eight times a week. And we can do it in a safe manner, you know? So that was very important for us to make sure that we would be able to do that show, that final performance, and we can do any other performance from now on, being a gig, a special event, or even maybe here in the, the Luxor for the future, you know? So being safe in COVID was big challenges that we were able to overcome. Awesome. That is incredible. I'm so happy to hear that because those routines, you guys have set a bar high for any danger act to compete on AGT to come. So I want to talk about that winning moment where Terry said the winner of America's Got Talent Extreme is Alberto Silva and the Cage Riders. So what was going through your mind when that happened? Because it took this took years to get to that win. Yeah. Listen, man. I... Honestly, I I was a Will fan. I I love that guy. I he's such a humble guy, you know, going through his life with all the adversity that he challenged, that he faced. You know, I love the guy. And one thing I told for him just before the result was Wills. I I'm glad I'm doing this with you. It's two of us going head to head. But I wish you have landed your best trick and I bring my best. And then I would feel very okay with whatever the result was, you know. I just feel a little bit bad that he didn't land it, hit the backflip that he was planning to. Because I knew we would bring a perfect uh, performance. I had no doubt. I trust all my guys, the cage riders, the FMX riders, the street riders. We, we, didn't, we didn't go there with an act. It was with a full show. And even though I knew I had enough on my bag to take the win, when Terry is like, okay, he's the winner, and the silence went, you can see on my face, you can see on my body language how stressed I was because honestly, I was thinking, it's now or never. If, if I don't get an now, I guess I'm just going to have to live with this for the rest of my life. I'm just going to give up. And I was like, please say my name, please say my name. And when he did, it, it took me a second. You know, I was like, 
is he really saying my name? I dropped to my knees. And the first thing I did is I start to thank God, you know, because everything is on God's will. I asked him for protection. I asked him to make me safe. And he put everything on me, the safety and everything, plus the title of America's Got Talent Extreme number season one winner. And it was, it was honestly one of the best moments of my life. I think we were all thrilled for you. We were all thrilled for you, especially for a super fan like me that's seen you your, go your journey season 11, see the champions, BGT, and now here, and you finally won. Yeah, that it's never incredible. giving up spirit. I'm telling you, I'm resilient. I, I believe that, listen, it, this is um, inspiration for everyone. I'm not saying about AGT, but everything in life, if you don't get it the first time, it's okay. It's going to make you stronger for the next time. It might take a few tries until you get it, you know. On my case, born in the business that I did in the circus, I had a different talent that I could use to get me to the AGT uh, wing. And the point is, no matter what, never give up because one time you go get it and it's going to be worth it. Awesome. So we got to start wrapping up our conversation. So one of my last questions that I have for you is if you had the opportunity to meet with danger ads who want to compete on future seasons of America's Got Talent, what advice would you share with them? Look, number one is personality. You know, you need to make it a little bit on your own, you know. For example, knife, knife throwing is being done before many years ago. Uh, the Globe of Death, the same thing. What makes people watch you and, and, and appreciate you is a little bit of your personality. You know, you got to do it your own, you know. You got to make your own. You got to have fun. You got to show them that you are having fun while you're doing it. Because otherwise, it will show them how stressed you are and how unprepared you are. And that's not what you want. You want to go there and show confidence, not arrogance, but you got to be confident. You know, when I perform, I think I'm a Superman. That's the only way I can do what I do, because if I doubt myself, something bad will happen. So confidence is good. Go there with confidence, be humble, and everything is going to be just fine. Awesome. So where can my audience connect with you on social media, and where can they find tickets for AGT and Luxor to see you and the other acts? All right, so um, Instagram is the platform I like the most. It's uh, deadly underscore games. And then I made a new one for the Cage Rider. So it's AS, so Alfredo Silva, dot Cage underscore Riders. And then AS dot Cage on Twitter. Facebook is uh, Cage Riders, uh, AS Cage Riders as well. Uh, you got to go online on, on the americasgottalent.com. I think you can find the links for the, for the theater. Um, or the Luxor Theater as well. I don't really know the, um, the web page right now, but you can go online, book your tickets. America's Got Talent Las Vegas Live is amazing. You got to come and check it out. I guarantee you're going to love it. Awesome. So if you miss an episode of the Jake Stick with Jacob Elias podcast, visit our Apple Podcast, Deezer, Google Podcasts, Podcast Addicts, Spotify, and Spreaker pages, guys. It's Jake's Take with Jacob Elias J A C O B E L Y A C H A R. Are you on social media, guys? Because I'm on social media, too. So visit Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Jacob Elishar, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. And Alfredo, starting August 2022, Jake's Take is celebrating its 11th anniversary. Sorry, I lost you there for a second. Um, the platform and blog, jakes com is celebrating its 11th anniversary this August. Wow, congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If you want to see and read all my recaps for America's Got Talent, including season 11, Champions in Extreme, and also my podcast with some of the great alumni and even Howie Mandel himself, go to jakes-take.com. And if you are financially able to, guys, please consider heading to my jakes-take.com page on PayPal. I do everything and I'm very grateful for everything. If not, I totally understand. Please consider following me on social media and everything. Alfredo, thank you so much. It means a lot for me to have you and talk about your entire AGT journey. And thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. And don't forget, Audition Season 17 is just around the corner. I totally agree. Everyone, thank you so much for listening and have a great one, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.